hello and welcome to tech tool india in this video i am going to explain how you can perform change password in laravel 9 if you are new to the channel please do subscribe this channel for more laravel update so without wasting any time let's get started as we already installed laravel and if you want to see how we can install laravel 9 you can click on the i button or get a link in the description so to perform a change password, we must have logged in into a system. So I already created a user using that credential. I have just logged in as I am inside the system. We need to have a route where we can have this change password screen coming on the dashboard. So let's go into the code. Let's open our root web.php file. If you see, this is a home screen. So we need to make a new route for home controller. Let's copy this, call it change password. In the home controller, we need to make a new function named change password and name this route as a change password. All right, so let's save this. Now we need to create this change password function inside a home controller. Let's open the home controller file and we have to make the change password function inside a home controller. So what will we do? We need to write a function. We'll name the function as a change password. And what we need to do in this function, we need to load a change password file. So let's create a change password file, blade file. Let's go into resources, views, and inside views, I'll create a new file called change password dot blade dot PHP. All right. So I'm going ahead, just copying all the content from home, pasting here and renaming this as this is change or uh, let's rename this to change password save this inside a home controller inside our change password function what we can do we need to return this change password all right now as we we have to link this root somewhere on the application so let's go to the application we can link here just above the logout link. So let's go into our layout file in app.layout. You see we have a logout link once we are logged in. If it's not logged in, we will see this login and register link. And if once we logged in, so you will see the name of authenticated user and the logout link. Let's copy this logout link and give it a change password. Here, give it a reference of change password, name of the root of change password. Let's remove this complete part. Save this file. Go to our browser refresh it and see we have this change password if i click on this you can see here we are now inside a change password so here we want a form so i'm going ahead and copying a bootstrap 5 form from bootstrap documentation so here i have opened the bootstrap 5 documentation from here i'm just copying this form and pasting this form inside a change password. Let's first create a form and inside a form, I'll paste that copied form, which I have copied from bootstrap five. Let's little bit style it, rename this to change password. Now let's go to the browser, refresh this page. You can see we have our 
form here. Let's rename all the field. To change password, we need three inputs, old password, new password, and confirm new password. So let's create three field here. Let's update all the input. So our form, let's give it an action and method. Method would be the post action we will create. All right, so our form is ready. What we need to do next, we need to have a route to submit this change password form and handle this, validate the old password and match the new password and confirm password, apply a validation and change the password. For that, we need to create a root first. Let's go into web.php, copy this, make it post method, change password. Let's rename it to update password. Name it update password. Let's copy this function name, go inside a controller, create a new function, update password, which will accept a request, form request. So we'll create that. So what we need to do here, first we need to create a validation. Second, match the old password. And third would be update the new password. So let's update the form and see if we are getting all the data or not. So for debug purpose, what we'll use dump and die. And I am just dumping all the data coming from the request. So let's update our form. Inside our action, we need to give a root of update password. Let's go ahead and refresh our page. Add some random, I'm just adding some random numbers here and submitting the form. As you see, this page expired because we haven't updated a CSRF token in our form. So every form in Laravel needs to have a CSR of included inside it. Let's go ahead again, refresh it, put some number there, hit submit. As we have dumped all the data, so you'll see we have a CSR of token, old password, new password, and new pas password confirmation. So let's what next? We need to apply the validations. Let's go into the controller function. Next, we need to create a validation. So to validate this, what we'll do, we'll create this validate function. And inside this, we'll write our rules for old password. This should be a required field. Similarly, we'll take new password. New password is required and then we'll use confirmed. So what it will do, the confirmed rule will check for a field called new password confirmation. As we have our field, this third field for confirm new password, we have named it like new password confirmation. So it will validate this field as well. Let's create, let's use this and take our dump and die just below the validation. So it needs to pass the validation first and then it will dump the data. Let's go ahead and refresh this form. You'll see we'll redirect it to this, but we don't see any messages. So to display the error messages, what we need to do here to display the error message on blade, we need, we can use blade directive error to display this. Let's add this inside our code. Let's go into a blade file and just below our input file. If I use this directive, 
and see it old password and inside this I'm just using a span with class danger text danger and inside this I need to print the message let's see if it is working or not let's go ahead and let's go ahead and refresh this form submit this you see the old password field is required so the our validation is working now if you want to add a class on this so let's go ahead here inside our input let's use our error directive again and if it has the old password add a class of is invalid I think this is going to work and it's going to add a class is invalid if there is an old password error let's go ahead and refresh this you see now our error backend error is displaying on the form let's apply for all now you see the new password and the old password field is required let's add some data here again here it, the new password information does not match so let's add same password now you see we have the same password for new password and password confirmation so our validation passed and we have dumped the data after that I'm just creating this basic validation in the next video maybe we can see like how you can apply your own custom password validation and there is a method available in laravel 9 where you can you know use the password validation very effectively where you can say like it should be eight character it should contain the alphanumeric and then the, this we will see in the next video but for now i'm covering this change pass let's go ahead and add the next thing in the code the next thing which we need to do is to match the old password for that what we need to do for that we need to check our hash which is stored in the database with the old password let's create if condition and inside our if we'll use hash check and the value which we are getting inside our old password and I'm going to use as the user is authenticated so we can pull our hashed password from database what we need to check if our old password doesn't match with the saved password we need to give an error let's take if it doesn't match we need to dump a message old password does not match okay let's print this if it doesn't match go ahead and refresh this as you can see the old password doesn't match so what is the old password let's go ahead refresh this form and use this password which I have saved in my browser. Now I need to enter a new password. Submit it. Now you can see our password match with the old password and our validation dumped here. If you see here, you can see the status. If status is there, it prints a success message. Similarly, what we need to do, we need to add one more condition here just below that in inside a else if condition if there is an error so we 
have to print the error as well okay let's go ahead and once it doesn't match so we need to return this message in return back with error and the message let's go ahead go back to this i'm just entering some random values and entering new password confirm new password and submit you see old password doesn't match so instead of alert it should be danger okay let's again give it you see now old password doesn't match so we are validating it properly let's update the old pass password properly and enter a new password with matched new password and you'll see we have all the data there in the controller so the last step we have to do is to update the password right so uh, for updating a password what we'll need to do update the user where id is equals to auth of id and then call this update function inside the update update the new password so for that we need to use our hash make function and we have to pass this new password right which is coming from the request and that's it i think we need to import the user model here i have imported this and once this is done we need to return a success message so what we'll do we need to return this and the message would be password changed successfully right let's do that go ahead refresh this and so instead of auth of id what we can do auth of user of id so let's do that we are inside our change password i am going to use the old password entering the new password and submit this password change successfully if i use the old password again and try to use the same thing it should give me the error and you see we have the error now so we need to give the new old password and then update it with any other password and submit it it's working so uh it's very simple i just tried to explain it simply with the every step you need to follow in order to change the password inside a logged in user dashboard if you have any query you can comment down to this video i'll try to answer your queries if you found this video informative please do subscribe this channel i will keep posting new videos on level 9 in the coming weeks till the next video keep learning keep watching thank you for watching